Okay, so fix a lot here. We're going to show you how to remove lug bolts on a Lotus Exige. Uh, this is the same as a Lotus Elise. What happens on a lot of these wheels is that um, behind the lug bolt itself, um, you get dust, things like that. And if you don't remove these or you come uh, from climates that are either dusty or, or moist, um, these actually get stuck on. And if you use the tool here to try to remove these, you, you just won't be able to. What ends up happening is if you put some leverage on it or if you even put a breaker bar on it, it'll break right here at the tip of the tool. This, this piece will separate from the tool and it'll render it useless. So in order to do this, you don't want to apply too much torque. Um, I'm going to be using a 14 millimeter half inch drive with uh, an extension and a um, 17 millimeter, 17 millimeter socket. You can actually use it without the extension also, just like this, and then hook that up to the adapter. One of the things I wanted to show you was the adapters themselves. If you look at the one they give you with the Exceed or Elise standard, it's it's pretty lengthy. And so what happens is if you put torque on this, this tends to break off a lot easier. If you look in an Avora one, it's a lot shorter. So I recommend going out and getting the one for the Avora. Then you have just less twisting of it and it's it's a more direct torque that you can apply to uh, to the lug bolt. The two other things you're going to need are is PB blaster, and you want to soak the uh, surrounds of the bolts fairly well with this. And some people think that it's good to drill like a pilot hole, and then the next you know you use the next larger uh, drill bit. The way you want to do it is actually just use a 3 8 inch uh, drill, and the way these bolts are designed is they actually have kind of like a countersink in them. It's almost like a punch basically. And so it's a good starter for uh, the drill bit. And I like to use um, Craftsman or any of the other brands, uh, but it's the cobalt drill bit. So these tend to be a lot, um, these, these are basically purpose built for, for metal drilling. So that's what you want to buy. Uh, they're relatively expensive. They're actually the most expensive ones that you find at the hardware store, but it's the way to go. You usually just need one, and as long as you don't burn it up, it it should last you uh, to remove all the bolts. Okay, to start the process, you'll want to use a drill. Um, this is electrically powered um, into the outlet. Uh, don't use battery-operated one because you need the speed of regular drill. And I've got a 3 8 inch drill bit already on here, and you just go right into uh, the center of the lug bolt and start drilling. You can see the pieces of metal coming out of there. I've got one removed. and. I don't know, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but let me bring the, the light up here. So this one is already drilled out and actually removed. And so what you want to do is you want to get to the point where you're at this point of the shank. And you can kind of see a little, a small hole there. And that's uh, me drilling it out far enough so it just hits about this point and what happens is this whole area tends to collapse and then when you apply torque from your wrench or from your um, from your socket wrench uh, it'll just snap and then and then come right off either the either the head will separate from the shank or it'll it'll just break loose like this one did As an example of one that was drilled a little bit too far, you can see that good portion right here has been removed. 
Now it hasn't actually, it hasn't gotten down to the threads within the hub itself, um, but this is just drilled out a little bit too far. And when you, when you look in there with a light, you'll be able to see the difference between this and um, something like, like this, just a smaller, smaller hole. So this is where you want to go to, and uh, what you'll do is you can use this as a model or a template so that when you're drilling through, you can use one that successfully came out and just kind of measure with your thumb and then measure it against the other one that you're doing, and you can, you can determine the right depth. But once you get those all off, it's best to switch to a stud kit. I think this is one of the worst designs that they had over at Lotus uh, using these, these, I guess, lug bolts. It's better to switch to a standard nut, nut kit like this. This is ordered from Sector 111. And you just put, um, once the wheel comes off, you put these studs in with a little bit of permanent Loctite. And then you can just use the standard lug nuts. Uh, and these, I think, are 17 millimeters. So it's, this is the way to go rather than going back to, to this style.